I'll just clear this out. So, uh, are you able to see my uh, this thing? Canvas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. I clear. Uh, let Let's use this Microsoft now. So I feel this is a little better. I was just trying it. So today's uh, class, like in the previous class, we have studied about the alternators. So I wanted most of the people to join. So we could have done some, what I say. So we have, So um, yesterday I had uh, given you the problem, okay? So how many of you tried to do it? Hmm? So today let's do one more problem. So let's understand it. And then uh, I'll be giving you this. So this is a problem. So determine the main dimensions main dimensions of a synchronous ness uh, machine that is machine of a uh, 1000 kva okay this is 1000 kva hmm? 50 hertz three phase uh, 375 rpm rpm so the average air gap flux average air gap flux density is 0.5 5 Weber per meter square so this is the average area and uh, the ampere conductors and the ampere conductors and the ampere conductors per meter per meter are Two eight zero zero zero. Use rectangular poles. Use rectangular poles, and assume and assume a winding factor and assume a winding factor uh, is equal to point nine five five. okay peripheral speed peripheral speed is equal to 50 meter per second the runaway speed is 1.8 times the synchronous the runaway speed is 1.8 times the synchronous speed Now, in order to do this problem, so uh, you have to calculate the main dimensions. So then you have to calculate the value of D and L. Okay. And is used. Is used means what? Means L by tau ratio is equal to 2 over here okay when the voltage type of construction is used so you have to calculate the main dimensions and you have to calculate peripheral speed at a runaway speed so this is a very easy question so i want you people to go for it to calculate it 
and i'll be waiting because today class i want you people to answer me some something so this is this is appeared for eight marks as i can see so it's a very simple question as far as uh, this thing is concerned so please go about it how do you go about this question what you will do first yaratika what you will do see rpm is given ns you can get number of poles you can get then you have to get that c not value okay c not value in terms of uh, other quantities these type of questions we have done so many times you have done this similar type of question so please go about this question how do we go about this question yeah tell me Hmm. Yeah, tell me how do you do this question? So the first thing what we'll be doing is that in this particular problem, the first thing that uh, you have to do is a very simple and a very easy problem over here. So the first thing, as far as I'm concerned, the first thing that you'll be doing over here is calculate the value of N S. If you are to solve this problem, first thing is to calculate the value of N S. So while you are calculating the value of N S, this is in R P S, three seventy five divided by sixty. So get the value of this thing. This is six point two five R P S. Okay, number one thing. Then from this, you know the N S is equal to two F by P. Okay. So you can calculate the value of number of poles. Number of poles would be equal to two F by N S. So this is nothing but two into fifty divided by N S value. You just now calculated six point two five. It comes around some fraction value. So closest nearest integer value is sixteen. So and the winding factor is given that K W is already given as point nine nine five. So from this equation, you know that C naught is equal to 1.11 pi square or 11 also you can write 11 kw okay b a v c into a c into 10 power minus of 3 so all the other values are given this is given to 28000 the other values are given so you can calculate the value of c not from this if you are putting substituting the value of kw a c b a v that is given over here okay the average flux density is given the average air gap density average is given if it uh, average was not given then you have to divide it by that fa fraction so it's already given so no need you directly put the value of average and this value will get around 162 okay then you know that your uh, this thing d square l formula is equal to q not by c not ns and again your l by z ratio that is l by z l by pi d by p or pl l by z ratio is equal to 1 by how much is equal to 2 okay this ratio is 2 so you know the value of p 16 you know the value of pi you know 16 by pi is equal to l by 2 d or l is equal to 2 d by 16 into pi or 2 ones are 8 zero L is equal to pi eight by pi by eight into d. So you calculate the value of L in terms of this, and from here you have the value of d. So when you substitute these two equations, so here also you have this d square L. Q value is given is thousand kVs. So you can substitute this thousand over here. C naught is one sixty two. This is six point two five. And similarly, you are, you have this equation pi eight by D equation one and equation two, you get the value of D and L. So you know from this, if you are doing this from here, you can get L in terms of D. That is L is equal to point three nine three D. And similarly here, you can substitute this point three nine three D cube is equal to point nine eight seven. Substitute for D. So D value will get one point three six meter. And L value will get around 0.535 meter. So 
once you get the value uh, the peripheral velocity you have to see the peripheral velocity va is equal to pi d n s so pi value you know d value you calculated 1.36 ns value you know 6.25 so this happens to be 26.7 meter per second but it says the peripheral at runaway speed is how much 1.8 times so it, it would be 1.8 into 26.7 okay 48 meters per second so this is eight marks question in pocket eight marks so this is very simple questions why are you feeling so difficult like you're not trying only what is the uh, you're only there uh, chaitra nilakshini why you people are not trying very simple questions so you are not trying only so this is wrong you have to go for it you have to try questions so let me put one more question and uh, i am waiting for you to answer the question because today's class na so i gave you i gave you an example how it has to be done now you people should be at least trying so you are able to see my screen right okay so i'll be clearing the canvas and i'll be writing this question so uh, now today's this uh, uh, presentation is better than that uh, google or not hello ratika ratika yes sir this is this is looking much better than the earlier one yes sir no? okay okay no so that's why i thought okay, let me introduce this because i was trying this so but uh, and it's much clear also very smooth so but you people try this question please please try even if it is wrong no no problem but at least you have to try so this problem number 2 please you try okay so i'll write and i given you already the formulas everything is there find the okay mean dimensions so these questions are very simple dimensions okay of a 1000 mba 11 i have set for record is it recording yeah set for yeah 11 mva 11 kv 50 hertz 150 rpm 150 rpm three phase three phase water i had given you this problem i don't know how many of you have done if you have done you might might be able to do it again alternator the average uh, air gap flux density the average air gap air gap flux density the average air gap flux density is 0.65 okay web per meter square this is a uh, average and and ampere ampere conductors conductors per meter per meter are 40000 okay the peripheral speed the peripheral speed the peripheral speed should not exceed should not exceed exceed 65 meter per second at normal running speed in order to limit the run away in order to limit the run away speed assume a winding factor assume a winding factor kws is equal to 0.955 so you do this problem again what you have to do first thing is see and you have this uh, now uh, uh, 
uh, water wheel has a circular cross section so in that you remember whenever water wheel is coming take this l pi d by p value equal to 0.65 here in this case this value you should take l by, l by tau value equal to 0.65 you can take now you do this problem yeah Yeah, please, Manohar. Yeah, first thing, what you will do? Tell me. First thing, what you will do? NS. Uh, NS you will do. First thing would be NS. Calculation of NS. So, the calculation of NS would be the first thing. Ratika, yeah. So, first thing is the calculation of NS. So, calculate NS. Tell me the value of NS. How much you are getting NS? NS value you will do first. Calculate NS. How much you are getting? Yeah, tell me the value of NS what you will get. Yeah. Ratika. 2.5, sir. Okay, 2.5. So, NS is equal to 150 divided by 60. So, this is nothing but as 2.5 RPS. Very good. How long it takes. Okay, then the number of poles you have to calculate. Okay. Tell me the number of poles. What you are getting? Number of poles you have to calculate. Tell me. Number of poles, how will be NS is equal to 2F by P. So, number of poles, tell me. Yeah, why it's taking so long? Substitute in that. 40, sir. 40, sir. Yeah, 40. Why you are not doing? 2 into 50 divided by 2.5. That is equal to 40. After once you get this number of poles, okay, then you have to go for the C naught. C naught is what? 11, okay, into KW, okay, that is there, KW, into what? Into BAV, hmm? into what? Ampere conductors, okay, into 10 power minus 3. This is your C naught. So, what is the value of C naught? KW also you have BAV, you also have ampere conductors is also given 40,000. Okay, BAV, B average flux air, the average air gap is given 0.65. AC is given, KW value is uh, given here 0.955. What is this C0 value? Tell me. Hmm? Tell me, yeah. Yeah, Chetra, tell me the C0 value. Nelanakshi. Yes, tell me the C0 value. What is the C0 value? 273.13, sir. So, 273.13, okay. So, 273.13. Okay, you have taken this as 0.955. I'm getting around 274 over here. Okay, you take all the fractions properly. Even if you have uh, 273, no problem. You can take that value also, 273. Okay, this is that's not an issue. Now, uh, I'll be taking 274. Now, you have another thing. D square L is equal to Q by C naught NS. Q value is given. Q value is how much? 
11 k uh, 10 uh, 10 1000 uh, mba it is you just see clearly it is mba it is not kba so if we have to express this this means 1000 into 10 power 6 okay in terms of voltage in terms of kva 1000 into 1000 kva it can be written like this so we have to convert here you have to see the dimensions so you cannot write 1000 instead of 1000 it will be 1000 10000 hmm? 1 lakh 10 lakh kva it is okay so it is how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 i think yeah if it is mba so, sorry this is 100 mba here 100 mba this is a mistake 100 mba so since it's 100 mba so it is 10 power 5 100 into 10 power 6 mba can be written as 100 into 10 power 3 okay into 10 power 3 okay so this thing this will remain as kva and power 3 this will become a 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 1000 kva c naught value you calculated 274 and its value also 2.5 so what is the value of d square n tell me 146.45 ah so 146 point we will take in the nearest in this is 146 meter cube okay then you have the l by z ratio l by pi d by p okay pi d by p so this is equal to how much i have taken 0 0.65 0 0.65 so l is nothing but 0 0.65 divided by p p is p value is 40 into pi d so this is l in terms of pi d substitute here 3.14 so how much value you will get L in terms of D? Tell me how much is this? Yeah, tell me. 0 0.047. 0 0.047. I'm getting 0 0.051 D. This is the value I'm getting. Okay. Then you resubstitute. Tell me the value of L and D. I want you people to calculate the value of L and D because in the examination, na, you never know. It can be an external <laughs> examination. Anything. Suddenly a vaccine comes, everything goes out of bloom, and you have to sit in the examination. Now you are not used to calculating and all that thing, so it, it, it will become a big headache. Tomorrow again you have to appear for any examination, CAT or GATE or any examination. You have to have some numerical skills involved with you. See, most of the time how I am simplifying it so that I can use very less amount of calculator. Nowadays also if you go back to the system, if you check the gate calculator or uh, most of the examinations including engineering services examination they are not allowing even a simple calculator so they want people to calculate although in the gate there is a calculator but it's very tedious so most of the times your brain you have to do some calculations and then some simple calculations you can use a normal calculator so please try to practice and be very fast at it because nowadays even if you get the right answer but if you're not on time then it's not of any use because the atmosphere is very competitive you are not realizing it once you go past the engineering uh, scenario you will uh, come to know so you have to practice you have to be prepared yeah tell me yes tell me the value of L and D so D is 14.199 okay D is 14.199 that's correct D is 14.199 D is 14.199 so instead we can round off this we can write 14.2 uh, 199 14.2 okay then L L value you tell me 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.7 point how much is the L value 0. 0.714 0. 
0.714 so the value of l is 0. Seven, it's correct 0 0.714 okay now you tell me the peripheral velocity what it would be hmm? so this is correct the peripheral velocity uh, you will get is pi d n s so you have to calculate that the peripheral velocity hmm? Hmm? see the peripheral velocity is pi d n s so pi you know d you know n s you know so tell me what is the peripheral velocity Hundred and eleven point five two, sir. So this peripheral speed you are getting is hundred and eleven point five two. So hundred and eleven point five two. So this V is equal to pi d n s. So the maximum speed that a machine can achieve, synchronous machine, is sixty five meter per second. Be beyond this, uh, if the peripheral speed is given, so what will happen? The mechanical parts will start to break down. So now uh, the problem arises is this, this is above the maximum permissible value of around 60 to 65 meter per second. So this is actually very high peripheral speed and on if you consider on the lower side, so this is 60 meter per second is the maximum speed and plus minus 5% tolerance like up to 65 we can do but this is coming around 111. So it's very high. So what has to be done is that so the L by Z ratio which we had taken 0.65 uh, so for therefore circular poles which we had considered cannot be used for this speed. So we need to employ a rectangular poles. So rectangular poles have the L by Z ratio from 1 to 5. So let me um, show you certain things. So we need it to be beyond uh, 5. So uh, around 60 or uh, near to 60 so let's let me do so if we are substituting resubstituting back certain portions in this yes. so, okay so how do you get a new board document also here huh? no i don't need so no. okay okay like this you have to do okay now uh, in this case uh, if I see uh, like my L by Z ratio I make a table and there is something okay delete that what is this scale okay yeah Nice. Okay. So let me write my L by tau ratio here. My D in meter, my length in meter. Okay. And my peripheral velocity. So, wait. I'm not able. Wait one second. I'll redraw this section uh, what I have to do is that I need to create I'll clear the canvas and I'll explain you okay let me redraw this section okay. 
can't I have okay nice I don't know why this something is okay for me. That's my adhesive. Okay. So what I will notice is that if my L by this is my L by Z, this is my D in meters, okay. This is my length in meters. This is my velocity in meter per second. I need only these many uh, columns. So the rest part I'll be, it will not go, no problem. So I need only these many. So what I notice is that if I take my value one, um, at that time my D value, I'll, it will be 2.30 if I back substitute it. So this is what 12 marks actually asked, 10 marks. So, because the calculation we have to time and again do it 9.65. Okay, so and this at that time my peripheral velocity will be 96.5. So, this is my L by Z, and this is my dm value, and this is my length in meters, and this is my velocity. So, when I am taking these values over here one uh, at two what i'll get at three what i'll get at four what i'll get and at five what i'll get so at one i'm getting this value at two uh, i'm getting the value around 9.75 this is 1.53 this value is 76.7 this is 66.7 at the value of three this is 2.02 this is 8.05 this is 7.75 this is 2.43 and this is 60.1 and at 5 i'm getting the value of 7.30 2.75 and this is around 52.4 so either i can take among these two values because this is in the range so uh, the value of l by z when i have to take the value of l by z so what I'll take is that the value of L by Z, value of L by Z should be either 4 and 5. Huh? Because uh, in this design, in this design, design, the rotor peripheral speed, the rotor peripheral speed is below the maximum value below the maximum value of maximum value of 65 meter per second 65 meter per second so we will use l by z either 4 or 5 so if this is the result if we are using 4 so we'll get d is equal to 7.75 meter and l is equal to 2.43 meters so you have to while designing this type of question you have to be careful regarding the l by z uh, ratio so that's how this question you need to answer now as far as uh, the induction uh, the synchronous machines is concerned so we have studied the various type of issues the air gap length and the scr short circuit ratio how it is related to the main magnetic field now um, as far uh, uh, we will be uh, yes so this is this was about this problem so I feel ki you are are you confident about doing uh, uh, problems with respect to the synchronous machine the only thing in the synchronous machine problem is that you have to practice
practice the problems okay if you are not practicing more if you are not doing at home so i think it will be little bit difficult uh, when you are sitting in the examination so you need to practice and uh, now uh, just like the dc machine design so we had studied the design uh, phenomena for the dc machine similar to that we have the design for the synchronous machine so if we are, have to design the field winding in case of a synchronous machine so how do we design the field winding of a synchronous machine so usually uh, we have known that we'll be studying in the next class so but uh, we know that uh, a synchronous machine is not a singly fed machine it has a separately excited dc generator connected to the slip rings or the periphery of the armature wherein um, this is helpful in exciting the machine and uh, that uh, eventually helps it to rotate at a synchronous speed so i have to ask a question it is uh, advisable to have a field system rotating and uh, armature stationary for large synchronous machine so can you justify this okay so i'll So my question is, it is, it has appeared in the examination. Is it, is advisable to have field system, field system, rotating and armature armature stationary armature stationary for large synchronous for large synchronous machines machines justify the above statement so can you justify the above statement so the basic solution to it would be see uh, as the armature voltage uh, is concerned So we have the modern large synchronous machines. These are basically generally designed for very high voltages around 11 kV, 13.8 kV. So the basic thing is that in a stationary armature system, if you have an armature system stationary, high voltage terminals of the armature winding can be connected directly to the terminals. So thus avoiding slip rings which are unreliable at high voltages that means if there is a rotating alternator it becomes very difficult to connect uh, high voltage terminals of the armature winding okay uh, so this is like uh, in modern in modern uh, power systems we can say in modern power systems large synchronous Yes, machines are connected. Large synchronous machines are connected with voltages around 11 kV and 13.8 kV. So there is one thing like um, one question to my mind comes before I uh, move further. So Manohar, are you there? Manohar? Manohar? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I'll ask you one question. Don't unmute yourself. Keep, uh, um, don't mute yourself. Stay unmuted. See, uh, if you see the voltage ratio of the machines, you will see 11 kVA, 33 kVA, 66 kVA, 132 kVA. Is it uh, like uh, there is some relationship between or 
is it simply like that hmm so relation to the sir so. what relation what relation is there it's taken like consider as like losses or no 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 somebody will uh, say to me sir if you see the equation of the alternator so your e phase would be equal to 4.44 f y t phase k w s okay but where in this 4.44 is that this is 1.11 into 4 f y t phase k w s so this 1.11 has a multiplication factor of 11 so that's why you get 11 33 66 132 <laughs> because 11 into 12 is equal to 132 but this is not the case this is wrong why because we have also 13.8 kb also generation we have 765 also okay we have other factors also so there is nothing to do with this form factor okay so in some intro question somebody can ask you like this uh, tell me sir okay you what you and most of the people will say it has a relationship between the form factor but this is not the case okay similarly if you notice like the transmission voltages that are coming to your home okay are coming like 11 in the multiplication of 11 what, what is the reason see when uh, first system was established that was a dc system and dc system had humongous amount of losses and uh, because there is no transformer associated with the dc system so what you and you cannot transport it to a larger distances so they started with the c10 and they just gave 1 kva loss so that's why this system came 11 kva like that it came from the edison's dc system and they had uh, kept this for uh, to compensate one extra kva for losses so that is a, a another thing because uh, but now it is an age of ac so we should understand these are some basic uh, questions sometimes somebody can ask you in an interview and, and all that so if you are my students i i should deliver it to you so that you will be confident and deliver it back to them uh, and they might get impressed so this is a uh, uh one thing so what happens is that uh, in a stationary armature system high voltage uh, terminals of the armature winding can be connected directly in a uh, stationary armature system stationary armature system high voltage windings can be high voltage windings can be connected directly can be connected directly to the system can be connected directly to the system okay thus avoiding thus avoiding slipnings which are very unreliable very unreliable at higher cost this is at higher cost okay number 1 the number second thing is the field field voltage now what do you mean by field voltage see the voltage of the field system is comparatively less you have seen the field excitation current is between 250 to 400 volt uh, a dc shunt generator is connected to excite the field so once the field is excited enough this generator is stripped if you go to a machines laboratory so you uh, see an alternator so you see uh, alternator on the slip rings there's a shunt dc generator connected and uh, first the dc generator is excited uh, and uh, for suddenly when the synchronous speed catches up and it locks to the synchronous speed then shunt down so but the voltage of the field system is comparatively much lesser so a voltage can be supplied to the row with the help of the slip ring so if uh, the armature is stationary and it's not uh, moving and uh, so we can directly connect uh, this uh, field voltage 
to the SIP links and the respectively DC shunt generator can supply the necessary voltage. So I'll write down the voltage of the field system, the voltage of the field system system is comparatively comparatively lesser comparatively lesser so the voltage of the field system is comparatively lesser such a low voltage such a low voltage such a voltage can be supplied such a low voltage can be supplied to the rotating rating field system field such a load like I'm supplied to the rotating field system with help of slip rings okay this is one thing the other thing over there is your size of slip ring okay and number of slip rings okay so the size of slip rings your number of slip rings and the final factor your armature insulation armature insulation and the sixth and the foremost factor is your operation of slip rings so I'll be explaining you this. See, size of the slip rings means, see, with the rotating field system, what happens is this: slip rings are to be provided to be, uh, to have to be handled much lesser amount of power. So what has as such the size of slip rings will be very much reduced. So you the size of slip rings what is uh, required over here would be of a reduced size. So this would be reduced size so the si size of slip rings which you require here is reduced side now what about the number of slip rings the number of slip rings essentially that are needed on the rotor are reduced in case of rotating field systems comparing to rotating armature system so if the armature is rotating so you should uh, have more slip rings but in case of a uh, we have a field system that is rotating so the number of slip rings are reduced so again we have reduced a number of slip rings rings in case of rotating field system field system this is one thing rotating field system now armature insulation in a stationary armature okay so we have this construction basically in a synchronous machine we have a stationary armature and rotating field system so in a in a stationary armature armature and rotating rotating field system this is our construction rotating field system so this is basically the stationary armature and the rotating field system. We have this type of construction. So stator coils and insulations are less exposed. So your stator coils are and uh, uh, insulation are less exposed to mechanical vibration. Stator coils and insulation, stator coils and insulation are less exposed to mechanical vibrations vibrations and uh, I think today's in today's class I think very few people have joined uh, only 18 are there why so I wanted to start one more uh, particular topic but here uh, I think only three four minutes are left so we cannot do much so what I will do is that Today is a very different. Yeah. So this and then the operation of the slip rings. So the operation of slip rings will be 
basically un unreliable with large current and high voltage so what we in case of armature is made rotating in, uh, in case see what will happen if you make the armature rotating and keep the field system uh, uh, stationary what happens is that the operation of will be unreliable with the large current at high voltage so this is one of the important points so i want you people to like uh, what i say is that new canvas is there to table object export clear canvas accessibility checker plus oh, pdf word document what is this one more i want you people to go for uh, here i have no Canvas help. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so here you can do like this also. Okay. So, this is a problem in case of the whiteboard. Okay. Now I got it. Uh, so, uh, tell me. Uh, for a feedback uh, like uh, this uh, whiteboard system is better or the Google uh, Meet was better like uh, Ratika Nilakshini Ratika this is better sir you, fe you feel Nilakshini feels this is better Chaitra what about you hmm? Chaitra uh, better sir this this one is better Muhammad Ashraf what, what do you think which one is better whiteboard is better sir Whiteboard this is better. One. What yes, other sir. teachers are you using whiteboard or they are using that Google? Or which which one they are using? Other teachers like uh, who are using the word pad. They are using whiteboard or that Google one? Jamboard. Huh? Jamboard. Sir. Jamboard is not that good, I think. Na? Jamboard is not that good, na? Compared to whiteboard, what you feel? Nilakshini? This is better, we will, sir. Uh, we will use whiteboard or... We will use only this, huh? Okay, from uh, next class onwards, we'll use this. So today only two two minutes are left. So you can uh, like I'll wind up my class because in two minutes I cannot start a new topic. So it will take time. So you can uh, give your attendance. Please raise your hand. Yeah, ra raise your all of you raise your hand and yeah, Bhavna is there, Mohammad Ashraf is there, Navita Chaitra. So yeah. Vikshita, okay, so we'll be using this for the next class. So I got that attendance. I have to stop recording over here. Stop recording, stop recording.